I'm now going to demonstrate how we can use a mask and a photograph combined together to create our timber grain. So we're going to do the, that on this one here. So in the first instance, I'll do this just with an automatic mask. So I need to choose my design work. I've chosen my design work. I need to pick my mask. However, I can do all of this work, but the part that is missing is my texture, my photograph. So let's add that firstly. So we go to this spanner here at the top left. We choose insert a photograph. I have them all saved in a photo album as you will have on the iPad. So here are my textures here. So as you can see, I've got some resin textures and I've got some wood grain textures. So I'm going to pick a wood grain. So let me pick this one and it brings in my photograph. Now you can see that the image is quite small. So one of the things that we can do with two fingers is increase the size of the image, but you can see that that image is hidden behind many of the layers, except this one, because when we brought it in our layer tree, this is now in front or above that layer. So I'm going to position it approximately something like that. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my layer tree. Here we can see my inserted image, but it's in front of my design work. So I'm going to hold my finger down and drag it underneath my design work. And if you notice now over here, you will see that my line work is above my wood layer. So now what I want to do is pick my design work, my sketch work, choose the mask tool and pick the areas that I want to use as the mask. Then what I'm gonna do, and this is the clever part now, this is the part that we want to be a wood layer and all the rest we want to remove. So we're going to do something, we're actually going to do this uh, conversion called invert, which flips it the opposite way around. Then, now we've flipped it the opposite way around, we want to pick, with the mask tool still selected, as you can see, we pick our inserted image, our photograph. With three fingers, you drag down ever so slightly on the screen and choose cut. As you can see, what then happens is it cuts all the outer parts of the inverted mask away, leaving just my timber. Okay, so let's do that again, but this time for the resin. So here we go. We insert a photograph. I go to my albums, I go to my textures, and in this instance, let's have this texture here. So here is my red fiery texture. I'm going to use two fingers, I'm going to move it, and you can see now that this one's quite see-through. So I'm going to move it so the whole texture is above my image, let's say something like that. It doesn't matter if it's slightly uh, skew. Then what I need to do is check which and where my layer is. As you can see, in this case, it's above my wood layer and below my design work. That's why we can see our lines. So for the purpose of this, I'm just going to turn off my wood layer so you can see. Then I'm going to go to my design work. I'm going to choose my mask tool, automatic mask. I'm going to pick the areas. And now if it's getting small, then just zoom in. This way, we're always picking the correct areas. I've got one here and let's not forget one on this side. So we picked our mask. I'm going to choose invert. I'm going to go to my layer tree. I'm going to choose my fiery resin. I'm going to three finger drag and choose cut. Let's hide our layers. But before we hide our layers, let's just turn on our wood layer and hide the layers. And now you can see that we've added a wood texture with the wood grain and we've added some resin. The next stage then will be adding some shadows and highlights.